one of the biggest challenges we have in the healthcare system today is looking at the structure of the system and the needs of the population and there's definitely a bit of a divide. So the good news is that we're now living longer than ever before. Um, we put appropriate public health measures in place, we have improved sanitation, we have treatments for acute, acute episodic illnesses and people subsequently across the developed world are living a lot longer. The challenge is that more and more people are now living with not only one chronic disease, but multiple chronic illnesses at the same time. Half of the populations um, across the developed world have at least one condition, and about a quarter of people have multiple conditions at the same time. And as we age, we're more likely to get more and more conditions, leading to greater reliance on the healthcare system. It also means greater costs for the healthcare system. So the question is, what can we do better from a system perspective? Um, if we look at preventing the illness to begin with, that's a wonderful thing to think about, but the reality is that to a certain extent, the chronic illness will happen um, to many of us. And so it becomes a question around how do we better manage the illness once it takes hold and how do we create a better experience? And so what we wanted to do in this study is to sit down with people who have been living with multiple chronic illnesses for, for some time to ask them, you know, in your experience, do you think anything could have been done along the way to either prevent or slow down the rate of decline that you've experienced? So we categorized responses into three categories. Um, a number of patients talked about things at the personal level that they felt um, could have changed their health outcomes. So some people talked about, you know, they engaged in risky behaviors such as smoking and, and drinking, but then quickly um, pointed to contextual factors like stressful family and workplace situations that went hand in hand with those behaviors. Um, other people felt that, you know, I wish I would have listened to my health provider or my family members sooner because in hindsight, I feel that if that advice had been taken, um, maybe things would have turned out differently. So in the second category, uh, patients talked about healthcare provider factors. And so a number of patients talked about late and misdiagnoses, which calls our attention to uh, what tools do providers have at their disposal to make diagnoses um, and, and do treatments, you know, when people have multiple conditions. And other patients talked about communication as being a factor. So sometimes during clinical encounters, they didn't feel listened to, they didn't feel heard. And so that also draws our attention to how do we create that space for clinicians and, and patients to have that critical conversation to look at things like self-management of multiple conditions. So in the third category, patients talked about issues in the broader healthcare system. So for example, they talked about things like poor transitions as they moved from one sector to another. In other cases, they talked about not really understanding how to access the system and also just not getting the needed care that they could in the community, which could subsequently lead to use of things like hospitals maybe unnecessarily. So our study provides information on prevention, but in the context of multimorbidity. So not just about you know, preventing illness from happening, but how can we sustain, better engage, better equip providers and patients and families to better manage illness once it occurs. So by looking at these personal accounts, we're able to now take this information and ask, how do we better equip providers, systems broadly, including the social determinants, to sustain quality of life after illness onset?